stop being so excited. I get that as a photo. Oh, I filmed Terminators. No, it just terminated. It didn't do anything and it terminated. Start again. We're gonna need it. Okay, can we just left front? Where do you want me to begin? Right now we are assembling the parts that we have made and have received from our sponsors so that we can get it over to the wiring team and have them wire it so it can actually go. We've been putting Anderson connectors on everything motor controller and motors so we can easily dis uh, connect and disconnect whenever you want and it's not a hassle. And we've been wiring PWMs on all the motor controllers into the PD board. Sounds like fun. Yeah, you could cost that. No, I mean, they, they want it to be in one layer. Like, okay. as in, like, a flat layer. Now we He's messing around. So, yesterday, we upgraded the autonomous class, so now it uses our newfangled drive class and made everything much right, later in the code, in the switch including the, the camera processing the and the drive yeah, take and manipulator arm wrapper class itself. Well, we're going to try and uh, turn an autonomous. And that's difficult? We shall see. <laughs> Okay, that's it. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Okay, so the the rollers aren't close enough together so that I pick up the ball. Oh, it's actually not quite effectively picking it up. So we need to move the rollers closer and cover them with a more grippy material. Yeah. But I'm Go thinking there. it's reading that blob instead of that one. But it's a step in the right direction, dang it. So, um, Say I was looking for black in this image, and the image yeah. included like this screen and me. And the blob would be the computer screen because it's the only thing in the image that's black. So we're looking for that retroreflective tape there. We're shining a big bright white light on it and dimming the rest of the image. So the only thing that should really be visible in the image is that retroreflective tape that's coming back to the camera. And we saw it and it gave us a blob, which we can use in the code to say, okay, the blob's over here, we should turn left. If the blob's over here, we should turn right. So we can target it more accurately. So robot's, robot's gonna target by blob. Yes. Whoa, we got my blob! Oh my god! They're excited because we see a blob in roughly the same place. So yes! Finally works! Wait. Oh, Go! Walk out the door! <laughs> Just turn around now! Cause you're not walking anymore! Too short? So we put the painter tape on there so it'd be with the hat. And that, assuming there are.